Walk Toward Wild, The Story of Wolves and Us. Dr. Jane Goodall believed the reason humans chose to form an alliance with wolves was not their intelligence. Apes are also intelligent, but for their strong social order and loyalty, which is unparalleled amongst mammals and exceeds humanity's tribal bonds. Early modern humans wanting to form an alliance with wild wolves is understandable. Wolves were eight apex predators, we were not. The real question is why would wild wolves want to be our friend? They didn't, we tricked them. We used wolves' altruistic nature to trick them into accepting us as pack members so that the superior hunters would allow us apprentices to learn from them during the hunt and also share their food with all pack members, which included us. There are two theories of how this faithful partnership became, came to be. One is the scavenger theory. Wolves would visit human campfires and scavenge food and thus become reliant on humans to feed them. But wolves are wild. They're not tame. Scavenger wolves would have remained free to roam and interbreed with wild wolves. They would have not become genetically isolated and would have continued to give birth to wild pups with wild tendencies, wild temperaments, often unsuitable for cohabitation with humans. DNA evidence indicates that humans exclusively bred their domesticated wolves with other domesticated wolves, which suggests that training wild wolves was a difficult and rare process. It is more likely that humans took orphaned wolf pups and selected the most social wolf pups to keep and returned the more antisocial pups to the wild or killed them. The domestication of the selected wolf pups would have occurred quite naturally as nomadic hunter-gatherer human populations were small and tribes were isolated from one another amongst the vast Eurasian steppes. Thus, the wolves that lived with the humans would have become as genetically isolated as their human counterparts. And genetic research suggests that human tribes domesticated regional wolves, and over time, these isolated domesticated canines were interbred with other tribes' regional domesticated wolves. And this is the reason why today our modern dogs can trace their lineage to a complex variety of Eurasian wolves.